Thank you for being a Sterling Administration client. Today I'm going to show you how to submit your HSA contributions through our online portal. I'm also going to show you how you can set up future transactions so you don't have to log into our website to push transactions every payroll. So let's get started. From the left hand menu, if this is your first time submitting a contribution, you will want to go to add or update the account. And from here, you can input your bank account numbers. You can also manage your bank accounts from here. If you have an old one, you can always remove it from here or make edits. Um, so you can go ahead and click this add new bank account number and type in. Once you have that bank account inputted, you can go to contributions from the left-hand menu. And from our contribution screen, you will see that we have two different contribution options for you. One of them is an embedded option where you're going to work online to submit transactions. The other option allows you to download an Excel template where you will be able to work offline, save a copy for yourself, and then upload that to the website to submit the transactions. So let's take a peek at what we have here on our contribution page. So we have create new contribution, which would be the embedded version on our website, and upload contribution, which would be the Excel spreadsheet method. If we scroll down slightly below that, you will see all paying HSA contributions. From there, you can always click on the transaction number, this orange link here, and it will show you the details of your transaction. You can make any edits before the transaction processes, um, and you can take a look or even download a copy in Excel. Over here, I like to point out that we do have a copy button. So the copy button will pre-populate the create new contribution method of submitting a contribution for you. It'll allow you to change the transaction date, allow you to adjust the type of contributions, and uh, make any edits to contribution amounts. I also like to point out that we have a cancel button here. So if you did make a mistake or you no longer need that transaction to go through, you can cancel that. Going down below, you'll see processed contributions. So this will keep a history of all of the transactions you've previously submitted. You'll see here that there is also a copy button on those transactions as well. If we go below the process transactions, and excuse me, we have quite a few because I'm on a demo account, so we've done quite a few demo transactions. It going down just below this, you'll see canceled contributions. So if you do cancel a transaction, you will see it populated down here. And you can also copy those as well. So let's go back up to the top of the screen and take a look at what it looks like to submit a contribution online. So let's start with create new contribution. So you'll see on your screen that this will populate all of your employees who have an open HSA account with Sterling or a pending activation account. You will be able to allocate funds separately, depending on if you're making employer contributions. You will see that field here. If you're making any employee contributions, such as payroll deductions, you can do that here. And if you are going to pay the monthly maintenance fee or even the annual fee, depending on which fee plan you choose, you can allocate those funds here. Keep in mind that every HSA account with Sterling has a side fee account attached to it. So you can put funds in there in advance to cover any monthly or annual fees that your employees might encounter. Keep in mind our monthly fees are charged on the last day of each month. So if you do plan to pay those monthly fees, ensure that you submit those transactions before the last of the month. With our annual fee plans, those fees are charged on the anniversary day of the account activating. We also have a field for employee fee contribution. This is very, very rarely used by our employers, but this would be if you were doing a post-tax payroll deduction to specifically pay for an employee's fees. So employees could have you do that through payroll. It's very rare, and most of the time our employers don't need that field. Up above, you'll see here that you can choose your bank account that you'd like to use. have the transaction pull ACH transaction from your bank account. On the same day that we pull that ACH, we are going to post the funds to your employee's account. So there is no delay from the time that we pull money from your bank account and post it to your employee's balances. The next section is 
to choose the contribution type. So we have different contribution types. You can tag your initial contributions for your employees as the initial contribution. It will populate this way on your employer statements as well as your employees activity statements. Or you can choose which you're going to use most of the time, regular contribution. So this is going to be a regular year contribution. You will use this most of the time. You may know that with HSAs, you can submit a prior year contribution between January 1st and usually April 15th, or depending on when the tax filing date is. So during that period of time, if you need to submit a prior year contribution for your employees, you can do so. And during that time, when it's applicable, you will see the prior year contribution populate in this list. The next thing I'd like to point out to you is the transaction date. This is the date that tells our finance team at Sterling to go pull an ACH from your bank account. So unfortunately, we can't backdate this date because we don't have a time machine, but we absolutely can set future transaction dates. So once you're done populating all of the contribution amounts for your employees, you can click the Save button, and then you will see that populate in the pending transactions in the contributions page. So let's take a look at our other contribution option. That would be the Excel upload method. So with this upload contribution method, we are able to download an Excel template, which is very similar to the embedded version. It just allows you to work offline at your leisure. And we know that HR people and payroll people are extremely busy and you get pulled in all sorts of fun things and fun situations. So this allows you to just download this template and work on your own pace. And then you can just log back into the screen and upload the template when you're ready. So you will see again that you'll choose a bank account and a contribution type, as well as a transaction date. And then you'll go ahead and down here and I'll show you what that looks like so you can see it. All right, and here is that template. So you'll see that you can enter first name, last name, social security number of your employee, employer contribution field, employee contribution. So very similar to the online embedded version. We also have an instruction tab down here on the bottom that I like to point out. So it does give you hints on how to enter the information so our system will upload that information and submit your contributions. So you can see here that um, the Sterling account number is not required, so you don't need that to submit this template, but um, you can put social security number in there instead and just make sure to enter it without dashes. All right, so once you're done populating this form, you would go ahead and save that as a .csv file or comma delimited file, and then you can upload it right to the website. Once you do so, you will see that in the pending transactions as well. Once you see a pending transaction, you can go ahead and click the copy button, which is my favorite button and saves our HR people and payroll people so much time. So we click the copy button and it's going to pre-fill this previous transaction that I did. And you'll see this here when I copy. I'm able to choose a new bank account. I can choose a different contribution type. I can set a future transaction date. So maybe I'm gonna set this up in advance for my next payroll date so I don't have to log in again next time. And you can set up as many of these as you need in advance so that it will go through like clockwork and you don't have to log in every payroll. You can go ahead and make any adjustments or edits to their contribution amounts and then just click save and it'll process as a new transaction on the transaction date that you set. So there you go, that is our contribution options through our website. And if you have any questions, Sterling would be happy to help you. Just give us a call. Take care now, bye-bye.